as an aerobics instructor dances armoured vehicles block off Parliament in Myanmar's capital, Naypyidaw, on February the 1st. But if the generals thought it would be a bloodless coup, they couldn't have been more wrong. Months of bitter resistance and a violent military crackdown, with nearly a thousand killed. Six months later, the military junta is renaming itself a caretaker government, although it appears it will still hold important positions. And the leading general giving assurances elections will be held soon. We must create conditions to hold a free and fair multi-party general election. We have to make the preparations. I pledge to hold the multi-party general election without fail. But it's not clear under what conditions those elections would be held. Since the coup, the military has outlawed the National League for Democracy, Aung San Suu Kyi's party, and rejected its landslide victory in November. New elections would take place under the military's emergency laws, which will be in place for another two years. Min Ong Lai did say the military would follow the lead of an envoy sent by the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. But that envoy has yet to be appointed, and ASEAN has failed to take a firm line as events have spiralled out of control. What is of growing concern to the international community is the worsening COVID-19 situation in the country. More than half of the world's population lives in countries bordering Myanmar, while inside those borders, the virus is spreading unchecked. The coup has resulted. The virus is spreading uh, through the population very fast indeed, by some estimates in the next two weeks. On the streets of Yangon, protesters set fire to Myanmar's flag. They say they don't want new elections, they just want the military to step down. Tony Chang, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.